On Friday, November 21st, Supreme Master Ching Hai accepted an invitation to an interview by journalist Andrea Bonney for an article that appeared in the Earth segment of the Irish Independent newspaper on December 17, 2008. The Irish Independent newspaper is the most widely read daily newspaper in Ireland and is available in all shops, newspaper stands and airports nationwide in Ireland as well as in the United Kingdom. This interview with Supreme Master Ching Hai was took place via video conference covered a broad range of topics, from organic farming to vegan health studies to the spiritual importance of animals. It also delved into issues related to implementing the vegetarian solution to global warming. We now present the interview with Supreme Master Ching Hai by journalist Andrea Bonney. Supreme Master. Hello. How are you today? It's a pleasure to speak with you again. Um, the last interview was uh, went very well. Oh, it's nice to see you at last. <laughs> I would love to speak while looking at you. How are you? I'm very well, and it's nice to see you as well. Yes, you look great there. You also look slim, <laughs> like uh, a model. Are you doing extra work, like a modeling or something? <laughs> I don't want, I'm too busy with my uh, journalistic career. Uh, yes, you, are, you must be very busy. And you are a good journalist. I, 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 I hope one. so. I hope Thank so. Thank you for being with us. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, so, on my first question. Uh, Supreme Master Ching Hai, uh, last November the Partnership for Change Climate Conference was held in Cork in Ireland. Uh, one of the guest speakers, Professor James Hansen, head of NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies and NASA's top climate expert stated that urgent action is needed. Uh, he said that we only have one year before we reach tipping points and that 2009 is going to be a crucial year for our world. What in your opinion are the most effective and fastest ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to stop us going beyond these tipping points? Well, madam, that would be vegan, eh? Vegetarian diet without any animal product. Uh, not just vegan, but we avoid all the animal products, means we live a more compassionate lifestyle, yes. And uh, this uh, diet or this lifestyle is not only compassionate, but is easy, simple, economically and ecological. Everyone from baby to the elderly can do you see, and it's 100% healthy. It's not just my opinion, it's also the opinion of all the experts, the scientists, uh, the medical advisor, the environmentalists, etc., etc. A top Irish environmental economist, Dr. Richard Toll, from the Economic and Social Research Unit of the Department of Economics stated that if you're serious about reducing emissions in Ireland, there is no future for beef and dairy in the country. He also said that with Ireland failing to meet the targets set out by the Kyoto Agreement, that uh, penalties are expected to run close to €1 billion Euro a year in the lead-up to 2020. What alternatives do Irish farmers have to dairy and beef? We can turn to organic farming, yes. And it's easy, it's simple, cost and water effective, and it's ecologically, economically sound. You see, it will absorb even 40% of CO2 if all the tillable lands are organically cultivated. Uh, it could be more than that. According to the Kyoto Agreement, if uh, in any country where the farmers grow organic fruit and uh, vegetable, then there would be no need to pay subsidies Organic foods and uh, produce are grown and handled according to strict sustainable procedures. 
with a limited chemical input, or we could even use no chemical input at all. So organic food also GM free. Organic farming preserves topsoil. Chemically intensive practices are a key factor in the erosion of topsoil. Scientists found that soils in organic plots were up to 60% more stable and are less prone to erosion. So over one-third of Irish rivers are now polluted, mainly due to farm runoff. You know, it could be more than that, but, you know, we want to try to be conservative here. Organic farming reduces toxic farming runoff and pollutants that contaminate our water, you see, soil and air as well. So organic farming is healthier for farm workers, the surrounding communities as well, and for natural wildlife. Now the EPA considers 60% of all uh, herbicides, you know, weed killers, or 90% of all fungicides. That means mold killers and 30% of all insecticides, that means insect killers, are potentially cancer-causing for humans. An animal, of course, now. Organic farming keeps harmful chemicals and uh, pesticides out of the food that we eat and the beverage that we drink. So farmers may apply for a grant from the Department of Agriculture, so for up to maximum of 60,000 uh, euro. So organic sales in Ireland have increased, you see, by 82% already, reaching a value of uh, 104 million in uh, the year. Uh, up to July 2008. Yeah. For Ireland to meet the Kyoto Agreement uh, targets, they need to plant millions of trees. Well, farmers can use their land to do that, and this will help to cool the world also. And forestry uh, is also adds to the beauty of the landscape. Yeah, and that's good for Ireland's tourist industry. Thank you. Each second, an area the size of a football field of travel.